FameLab Talking Science. Hello. So did you know that 80% of all the mass of the universe is dark matter? 80%. The problem here is that we do not know what is dark matter. We cannot even see it. The, the matter we really know, the one that forms everything from stars, planets, gas, that forms ourselves, can only account for a third of a fifth of the total mass of the universe. So what's the rest? It's a big mystery. And how do we know that this dark matter exists at all if we cannot see it? Because we can see its gravitational attraction. So for example, this object here, it falls because of the gravity of the Earth. And its acceleration is related with the total mass of the Earth. However, when we look at galaxies and we count all the mass in the galaxies, all the stars, all the gas, even black holes, everything, we see that this normal matter makes not enough gravity to keep the galaxy together. We would need five times more mass in order to, to keep the stars inside the galaxy. And we see this, this need for the gravity of dark matter in all the galaxies we observe. We need the gravity of dark matter to explain the shape of the universe. So uh, what can it be? What can be made of this dark matter? So it must be something very strange, something that does not emit light, because otherwise we would have seen it already. It must be something that does not even interact with light, because we, we see no shadows out there, nothing black covering our view. It must be something that does not even interact with matter, no collisions. So what it could be? That means that it could not be formed by any of the particles we know. It cannot be made of protons, neutrons, electrons, photons, neutrinos, nothing, none of the quarks we know. What it is? So particle physicists, they study the small wall of the particles. They do not care about the problems we have when we observe the universe. However, what they say to explain his small wall of particles is that new particles may exist. They call it supersymmetric particles. They have not already been detected, but what it is a big coincidence is that they have the precise characteristics also to form and to explain the dark matter of the universe. So that's just a possibility, but the, tr the truth is that nowadays we don't know what dark matter is. The only thing we know, and that's something very uh, big, is that we are still very ignorant about the true nature of the universe. Thank you. <laughs>